jazz band concert last year? Well, well, you waited afterward just to talk to her and, and tell her how good she was, and you were going to pretend to be super casual, like you didn't even know her name. Like she would introduce herself to you, and you'd be like, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Chloe. You said your name was Chloe. She's like, no, it's Zoe. I said Zoe. And you'd be like, oh, see, I thought she said Chloe because I don't even, I'm just very busy with other stuff. <laughs> But then you didn't end up saying anything to her anyway because you were scared that your hands were sweaty, which they weren't that sweaty until you started worrying that they were sweaty, which made them sweaty. So you put them under the hand dryer in the bathroom, and then they were still sweaty. They were just very warm now as well. So you just decided not to eat last night? Oh, I, uh, I wasn't hungry. You're a senior in high school, Evan. You need to be able to order dinner for yourself while I'm at work. You can do it all online now. You don't have to talk to anyone on the phone. I know you don't like the phone. Yeah, see, that's not true, actually. You have to talk to the delivery person when they come to the door, and then they have to make change. You have to spend it on silent and accounting right. This is what you're supposed to be working on, Evan. With Dr. Sherman, talking to people, engaging with people, not running away from people. Uh, you're right. I'm going to be a lot better. No. I know. I know you are. And that's why I made you an appointment with Dr. Sherman. But this afternoon, I'll pick you up right after school. I already have an appointment next week. And I thought maybe you could do something a little bit sooner. Have you been writing those letters he wants you to do? The letters to yourself? The pep talks? Dear Evan Hansen, this is going to be a good day. And here's why. <laughs> have you been doing those? I started writing. I'll finish it at school. Those letters are important, honey. They're going to help you build your confidence. Seize the day! I guess. <laughs> I don't want another year of you sitting around on your computer every Friday night telling me you have no friends. That'd be lovely. Can we try to have an optimistic outlook? Huh? <laughs> Can we fuck up just enough to see the world won't fall apart? Maybe this year we decide We're not giving up before we've tried This year we make a new start Hey, I know, you could go around today and ask the other kids to sign your cast How about that? That'd be the perfect icebreaker, wouldn't it? Perfect <laughs> I'm proud of you already Oh, good <laughs> Another stellar conversation for this wrap up Tomorrow, I'm trying to find a compromise here. <laughs> you gonna get involved here? You're too busy on your email, Larry. You have to go to school, Connor. That's all you're gonna say? Well, what do you want me to say? He doesn't listen. Look at him. He's not listening. He's probably high. He's definitely high. Well, fuck you! Fuck you! I do not need you picking at your brother right now. That is not constructive. Are you kidding? Besides, he's not high. <laughs> I don't want you going to school high, Connor. We have talked about this. Perfect. So then I won't go. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Another masterful attempt and disaster. Your state's already camped. Pour another cup of coffee and watch it all crash and burn. Connor, finish the mill. It's a puzzle. It's a maze. I try to steer through it a million ways, but each day is another wrong turn. You better head out. Connor's not ready. I'm leaving without him. Do you want to maybe... I, I, I don't know what you're on. Uh, do you want to sign my cast? Oh 
Oh my god, what happened to your arm? Oh, well, I broke it. I was climbing a tree. Oh, really? My grandma broke her hip getting into the bathtub in the lab. That was the beginning of the end, the doctor said. It's like she died. Happy birthday. Is it weird to be the first person in history to break their arm from jerking off too much? Or do you consider that an honor? Oh, I didn't, I wasn't I'm taking a picture, that. so you're in your bedroom. You got Zoe Murphy's Instagram up on your weird off-brand cell phone. Oh, that's what I was, obviously. I was... Um, well, I was climbing a tree, and I fell. You fell out of a tree? What are you, like, an acorn? <laughs> well, I was, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I worked this summer as an apprentice park ranger at Ellison State Park. I'm sort of a tree expert now. Not great. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I tried to climb this 40 foot tall oak tree, and then you fell. <laughs> well, except there's a funny story, actually, because there was a soft 10 minutes after I fell, when I just lay there on the ground waiting for someone to come get me. Any second now. I kept, I kept saying to myself, any second now. <laughs> Did they? No. <laughs> no, they came. That, um, that's what's funny. Jesus Christ. How was, what did you do for that? Uh, I'm sorry, you had a good summer? Well, my bump dominated and captured the flag. And I got the second base below the broth, this girl from Israel who's like gonna be in the army, so. Yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, do you want to sign my cast? Why are you asking me? Well, just, I thought, because we're friends. We're family friends. It's like a whole different thing, and you know it. Tell your mom to tell my mom I was nice to you, or else my parents won't pay for my car insurance. I will. Hey, 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 Connor! Love my new hair length. Very school shooter chic. <laughs> I was kidding. It was a joke. Yeah, no, it was funny. I'm laughing. Can you tell? Am I not laughing hard enough for you? You're such a freak. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? What? Stop fucking laughing at me. Well, I'm not. You think I'm a freak? No, I don't. I'm not the freak. I'm not a real fucking freak.
some more budget cuts this morning. So anything I can do to show that I'm, you know, team player. It's fine, Mom. I'll, I'll take the list. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Oh, I'm going straight from your class, so I won't be home until late. So please, eat something. You've got those Trader Joe's dumplings in the freezer. Uh, maybe. Did you uh, write one of those letters yet? Dr. Sherman's expecting you to have one. Dear Evan Hansen, this is going to be a good day, and here's why. Uh, yeah, no, I, um, I already finished it. I'm in the computer lab right now, printing it up. I hope it was a good day, Penny. It was. Yeah, it was really great. Oh, ha, <laughs> great. Oh, I hope it's the beginning of a great year. I think we both could use one of those, huh? <laughs> oh, shit, I have to run. Bye, I love you. <laughs> Dear Ethan Hansen, um, it turns out this wasn't an amazing day after all. Uh, this isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year because, uh, because why would it be? Oh, I know, because there's Zoe. And, and, and all my hope is just pinned on Zoe, who I don't even know. And who doesn't know me. But maybe if I did, maybe if I could just talk to her, then maybe, maybe nothing would be different at all. I wish that everything was different. I wish I was a part of something. I wish that anything I said mattered to anyone. I mean, face it, would anybody even notice if I just disappear tomorrow? Sincerely, your best and most dearest friend, me. When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash? Oh, 
It's gonna ruin your life with it. For sure. I mean, I would. On the outside, always looking in the air. Ever being more than I've always been. Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Head on the loudspeaker for me to go to the principal's office. Mr. Howard is when he stepped out. Oh, uh, we wanted to speak with you in private. If you'd like to, maybe. We're uh, we're Connor's parents. Oh. Why don't you go ahead, honey? I'm going as fast as I can. That's not what I said, is it? We never heard your name before, Connor, never. And then we saw dear Evan Hansen. He, um, he gave this to you? We didn't know you two were friends. Friends? We didn't think Connor had any friends. And then we see this, uh, <clears throat> this note, and it seems to suggest pretty clearly that you and Connor were, or at least for Connor, he thought of you as, I mean, it's right there. Dear Evan Hansen, it's addressed to you. He wrote it to you. Uh, I think that Connor wrote this to me. These are the words he wanted to share with you. His last words. This is what he wanted you to have. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean last words? Connor, uh, Connor took his own life. He, this is all we found him. He had it folded up in his pocket. You could see that he was, he was trying to explain it, why he was, I wish everything was different. I wish I were a part of something. I wish what please, I said please, mattered. Please, to stop anyone. it, Larry. Uh, but that's, uh, uh, this is a. Yeah. I'm sorry, Connor. Connor didn't write this. What does that mean? Uh, Connor didn't. He didn't write this. What does he mean? He's obviously in shock. It's no, right it's here. Not. If this is in this I'm sorry, he needs to call him down. Did he say anything to you? Did you see you honey, this is not this is all we have. This is the only thing we have I left. Mean, Cynthia. You should, just, you should take it. Harris's brought it over. Did Connor tell you about the Harris's? <laughs> <laughs> we used to go see 
skiing together at families? Connor loves skiing. I hate skiing. No, well, right. Uh, that, that's what I meant. Connor loved talking about how much he hated skiing. So you guys, you, you hung out a lot? Pretty much. Where? I mean, like, uh, where did we? Um, uh, well, we mostly hung out at my house. I mean, uh, sometimes we would come to his house. If nobody else was here. Um, uh, we would email a lot though, mostly, so we wouldn't have to. He didn't always want to hang out in person, you know. If you look through his emails, there aren't any from you. <laughs> well, no, of course, yeah. I mean, uh, that's because he had a different account, a secret account. I showed him that before. That was probably very confusing. Why was it secret? <laughs> but just so no one else could. It, it was more private, I guess. That might be. He knew you read his emails. Somebody had to be the bad guy. Okay, the weird thing is, the only time I ever saw you and my brother together was when he shoved you at school last week. He shoved you? I, uh, I tripped. I was there! I saw the whole thing! He pushed you hard! Oh! I, I, I remember now. That, that was a, a big misunderstanding, because the thing was, he didn't want us to talk at school, and I, I tried to talk to him at school. It wasn't that big a thing, it was my fault. Why didn't he want you to talk to him at school? Uh, he didn't really want people to know that we were friends. I, I guess he was embarrassed a little. Why would he be embarrassed? Uh, I guess because he thought I was uh, sort of a, uh, you know. A nerd. Oh, Zoe. Isn't that what you meant? Loser. I was going to say actually, but nerd works too. Bob <laughs> <laughs> wasn't very nice. Well, Connor wasn't very nice, so that makes sense. Connor was. He was a complicated person. No, Connor was a bad person. There's a difference. Don't please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with me. You refuse to remember any of the good things. Because you there were to see anything but the good things. I don't want to have this conversation in front of her. What were the good things, Mom? Tell me. There were good things. I remember a lot of good things about Connor. Like what? Uh, never mind. I should uh, sorry. No, I think you were saying no, something. We want to hear what you have to say. Well, I was just, uh, Connor and I, we had a really great time together this one day, recently. That's something good that I remember about Connor. That, that's what I keep thinking about. That day. That day at the Apples. Uh, at the Apples place. Anyway, I knew it was stupid. I don't, I don't know why you even brought they it up. They took you to the orchard? <laughs> yes, he did. And, uh, uh, well, once, it, it was just that once, but he said that the apples there were in the best. I thought that place closed years ago. Uh, exactly, which is why we were just uh, so gone um, when we got there, because it's completely, uh, it's totally closed down now. We used to go to the orchard all the time. We did picnics there, remember that, so. Yeah, I do. You and Connor had that little toy plane that you would fly until you flew it into the creek. That was an emergency landing. <laughs> he took you there. And that was fun. Did I beg you to? I beg you to fly. We did. The whole day was just end of May or early June. This your perfect afternoon we share. What was the name of that ice cream place out there that we loved? A la mode. <laughs> I said, a la mode. They had that only that fudge. Drive the winding country road. Grab a skip that a la mode. And then we're there. We'd sit in that bed on the bell with sycamores and you and your brother would look for four leaf clovers. An open field that's framed with trees. We'd pick a spot and shake the breeze like buddies do. Quoting songs by our favorite bands, telling jokes no one understands except us two. And we talk and take in the view. All we see is sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we. Let's go.
employees. The only people that like high school are cheerleaders and football players, and those people all end up miserable anyway. <laughs> You're going to find yourself in college, I really think so. I wish I could go with you. <laughs> I, I just thought these were, it seemed like a neat idea. Uh, it is, for sure. Well, you've always been a wonderful writer, and we're going to need all the help we can get for college. Unless your stepmother has a trust fund for you that I don't know about, with all those fabulous tips she made cocktail waitressing.
Mr. is hot. What the hell? My bad. Please. 
just read this. I'll leave the light on for you. I gave you the world, you threw it away. Leaving these broken pieces behind you. Everything wasted, nothing to say. So I can sing no requiem. Tacos another night, Evan. We can do tomorrow night. How about tomorrow night? 
can't tomorrow. I have to visit. I'm late. You should go. No, let's pick you this out. Evan. I identify myself. Anything nice about me? It's in a 
to you. He couldn't even say it to me. He wanted to. Uh, he just, he couldn't. Did he say anything else? Uh, about you? Never mind, I don't really no, care. No, no, he's just right? told me things about you. I just, I'm trying to remember the best ones. Thought you looked really pretty. It looked pretty cool when you put indigo streaks in your hair. He did. <laughs> How you learn to dance like all the rest of the world is in there. But he kept it all inside his head. What he saw. Like us. Connor Murphy, 
the kid who threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade, or Evan Hansen, the kid who stood outside a jazz band concert trying to talk to Zoe Murphy, but his hands were too sweaty. You know, people like that. Look, guys like you and me, we're just the losers who keep waiting to be seen, right? I mean, no one seems to care or stops to notice that we're there, so we get lost in between. But if you can somehow keep them thinking and make me more than an abandoned memory, well, that means we matter too. It means someone will see that you are there. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one should come and go.
my girlfriend said, here comes bar mitzvah season. He's going to have a different party every Saturday. I took him to get a suit, some shirts, a tie. He didn't get invited to a single one. I thought that you could wear this tomorrow for your speech. Uh, uh what? Alana said that anyone who wanted to would have a chance to say something tomorrow. I think we all assumed that you'd be the first to say it. <coughs> um, but uh, the, the thing is just, uh, I don't really do very well with public speaking. I'm, I'm not very good at it. You wouldn't want me to? Of course I would want you to. I'm sure the whole school wants to hear from you. I know Larry and I do. And Zoe. Think about it.
see, the thing is, when I looked up, Connor was there. That was the gift he gave me. He showed me that I wasn't alone. He showed me that I matter, uh, that everyone does. That was the gift he gave all of us. I just, I wish we could have given that to him. So, let that lonely
given us, all of us, everyone, my family, me. No, no this is... You've given me my brother back. Uh, I just... 
Oh, you told me you, you didn't know that boy. Well, I, I know, but... But then in your speech you said he was your best friend. Well, that's because it wasn't true. When I... When I said I didn't know him. So you broke your arm with him at an orchard. You told me you broke your arm at work, at the park. Okay, well, who do you think drove me to the hospital? Who, who do you think waited with me in the emergency room for three hours? You were at work, remember? I couldn't even, you didn't answer your phone. You told me your boss took you to the hospital. Well, so I lied, obviously. When were you planning on telling me any of this? Were you weren't? When would I tell you exactly? When are you even here? I am here right now. Oh, uh, one night a week, other people, their parents, they try to do a little bit better than that, just so you know. <laughs> oh, isn't that lucky for them? I have to go to Jerry's. Yeah, I don't think I want you going out right now, actually. I told Jared I would, I would be at his house ten minutes ago. All right, listen. I am missing class tonight so that I can be here to talk to you, Evan. I would like you to please talk to me. Okay. <laughs> I can't just not do work for school because you decide to miss class. I can't just stop everything whenever you decide it's convenient for you. All right, I don't understand. What is going on with you? Nothing is going on You're with you. You're standing up in front of the school and giving speeches? You're president of a group? I mean, I don't, I don't even know who that person is. You're making a big deal out of something. What is going on with you? Nothing is going you on with you. You need to talk to me. Oh, you need to communicate I with me. I am your mother. I'm sorry, I don't know why. I'm happy, and I'm happy you had a friend, sweetheart. I'm just, I'm so sorry he's gone. I just wish that I had known. Do you ever want to talk about it? I should go. You okay on refills? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking them anymore. Oh. I haven't needed them. Really? So, no anxiety, or even with everything that's been... I've been fine. Well, great. That's, that's great. I'm proud of you. I guess those letters to yourself must have really helped, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, don't stay up too late. It's a school night. I won't. Brooks Robinson. Jim Palmer. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the entire 96 team. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now, you get the right people to come to an auction like this, baseball fans, you can raise a thousand bucks for the orchard, easy. No, yeah, it, it's a great idea. I'm definitely going to talk to Alana about it. I swear I have Cal Ripken in here somewhere. This is really generous of you to donate me all of this stuff. Mom says she's starting the show in five minutes with or without you. Tell her I'm busy. Busy what? Uh, your dad had a good idea for the orchard, too, you know? Dad would just help me go through my collection here. Dad, are you torturing him? <laughs> what? Evan, is he torturing him? Oh, what? You can tell him he's being boring and you want to leave, he will be upset. He can leave whatever he wants. I don't want to leave. Evan, do you want to leave? If you want to leave. I don't want to leave. Okay, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Women. Right. <laughs> The leather is for sure. Yeah, never been used. You probably have your own glove at home, I'm sure. Oh, uh, somewhere. I don't know if it still fits anymore. It's been a while. Well, you know what? Why don't you take this one? Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? Just because, I mean, it sounds like if you need a new glove anyway, this one's just gonna sit here collecting dust. Are you sure? I bought this glove a thousand years ago for some birthday or some Christmas that has come and gone. I thought we might play catch or I don't know. But he left it in the bag with the tags still on. You'd have to break it in though first. You can't catch anything with a distance. Uh, uh, well, how do you break it in? Your dad never taught you how to break in a baseball club. I guess not. Oh, well. 
and it's all a process that is really quite precise, a sort of secret method known to very few. So, if you're in the market for <coughs> professional advice, well, today could be a lucky day for you. Shaving cream. Shaving cream? Yeah, yeah, you rub that in for about five minutes. You tie it all up with rubber bands, you put it under your mattress, and you sleep on it. And the next day, you repeat it. Now, you gotta do this for at least a week every day. Consistent. And though this method isn't easy, every second that you spend is gonna pay off. It'll pay off in the end. It just takes a little patience. It takes a little time, a little perseverance, a little uphill climb. You might not think it's worth it. You might begin to doubt, but you can't take any shortcuts. You gotta stick it out, and it's the hard way, but it's the right way, the right way to break in a glove. You know. Nowadays, with your generation, well, I hate to say it, but it's all about instant gratification. Who wants to read a book when you can read the Facebook? Totally. <laughs> Something like this, you got to be ready to put in the work, make the commitment. What do you think? Uh, I mean, definitely. <laughs> Some people say just use a microwave or try that running through hot water technique. <laughs> well, they can gloat about time they save till they gotta buy another glove next week. It just takes a little patience, takes a little patience, takes a little time, a little perseverance.
three hours. <laughs> thank you. Uh, th thank you for coming. You realize I've been asking to come to your house for like weeks and every time you immediately said no? I, I know. Uh, which is why I appreciate that you're here now. Where are all these? Oh, uh, those are, um, my mom is obsessed with these college scholarship essay contests that she found online. She keeps printing out more of them. There are so many. I know. I mean, I'd have to win probably a hundred of them to actually pay for college. When you add it all up, uh, tuition, housing, books. Your parents, they can't. Uh, not really. Sorry. Uh, well, hey, I... <laughs> I meant to tell you before, we had a meeting with the Comic Project a few days ago, and I think we have a really great strategy, strategy for raising more money for the orchard. Can we talk? Oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing. You're breaking up with me, right? That's why you came over. Breaking up with you? God! Like how presumptuous can I get? I don't even know if we're like dating officially or whatever, which isn't even... Never mind, why am I even talking right now? It's fine, don't worry, you can tell me. I'm not gonna cry or start breaking things. Thank you.
I completely forgot. Don't worry, I went downtown and handed out the postcards without you. I'm really sorry. I, I must have fallen date in my phone. What is your deal, Evan? The Kickstarter deadline is a week from now, and I feel like you're just like a thousand miles away. You haven't made any new videos, you haven't posted on the blog in like forever. Uh, uh, I, I just, I've been busy. Busy with what? Uh, just just stuff. How much money do we have left to raise? Oh, not much. Just $17,000. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll get there. We just need a... Uh, you know, keep people engaged. Exactly. That's why I'm putting the emails between you and Connor online. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Mrs. Murphy sent them to me. She said that there are a ton more, too, that you, like, show her a new one every week. Uh, but they're not, uh, uh, those conversations are really, they're private. Um, not anymore. They belong to everyone now. I mean, that's the whole point. The more private they are, the better. That's what people want to see. We have a responsibility to our community to show them everything, to tell them the truth. Our community. I'm sending you a list of questions to answer because some of the emails don't make any sense. Um, what? Well, like, you've been telling everyone that the first time you went to the orchard was the day you broke your arm, but then in other emails you talk about going there together since, like, last November. Well, that's because, I mean, um, those are probably just typos, and it sounds like you're reading into them, like, way too much. You can explain it all when I send the questions. You know how much the community loves hearing from you. Hey! So my parents are out of town this weekend. The last time we used a liquor cabinet was like Rosh Hashanah 1997, so <laughs> we can drink whatever we want. Yeah, I can't this weekend. I have $17,000 to raise. Remember the Connor project? You're supposed to be working on this. Uh, remember you told me you didn't need my help? I didn't tell you to do nothing. Look, I know you think this is all a big joke, but it isn't. It's important. For Connor? Yeah. You know, when you really stop and think about it, Connor being dead, that's pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to you, isn't it? That's a horrible thing to say. Well, no, but think about it. If Connor had died, no one would even know who you are. I mean, people at school actually talk to you now. You're almost popular, which is just wonder of wonders. Miracle of miracles. <laughs> I don't care about any of that. I don't, I don't care if people at school know who I am. All I wanted to do was help the Murphys. Yeah, I know you keep saying that. Hey, Jared. Hi. Look at you, helping the Murphys. What was that? Something smells good. Oh, chicken 
didn't realize you were spending so much time here. You've been working a lot. Why did I always think you were at Jared's? I don't know. <laughs> you call and tell your mother when you're spending the night, right? Of course. Well, you can rest assured we take very good care of him. Oh, we've got, well, he's got his own toothbrush, so we're not sending him to bed with cavities. How nice. <laughs> That there's something wrong with me that I need to be fixed. 
quits like you do. What have I ever done? I have to have a therapy. I have to take drugs. I'm your mother. My job is oh, to no, make you happy. Oh, no. You're the worst thing that ever happened to you. I just, I ruined your life.
You can't just stop now. I don't think I can live with this anymore. What about my parents? No more email. How can you do this to them? No more Connor Project, no more work. After everything they've done for you, they need you. Need me for what? To keep lying to them? That lie is the only thing that's keeping them together. That's not true. Really? So they seemed like a pretty happy family when you met them. I don't want to lie anymore! What about Zoe? <coughs> Zoe said she just... She wants me. Right. She likes me for who I am. Except you didn't happen to mention that everything you've told her... It's all been one big fucking lie, did you? Oh, you left that part out. So then what if... Uh, what if I did tell her the truth? She'll hate you. Uh, maybe she would understand. Maybe everyone would Everyone understand. will hate you. Not if I can just... If I can You will go right back to where you started. With no friends, be nobody, with nothing, alone! Be with it. If you really believe that, then why are you standing here talking to yourself? Again. You think you're gonna turn around all of a sudden and start telling everyone the truth? You can't even tell yourself the truth. What are you talking about? How did you break your arm? How did you break your arm, Evan? I fell. Really? Is that what happened? Yes, I was... I lost my grip and then I just... I fell! Did you fall? Or did you let go? You can get rid of me whenever you want. You can get rid of all of it, the Connor Project, the Orchard. But then, all that you are going to be left with is you. And a May or early June, this picture perfect afternoon we share. Drive the winding country road, grab a stupid all the mode, and then. Think about it. I've been a bad co-president, I know that, and I'm sorry, but I'm... Uh, you were right. You were absolutely right, and I'm back, and I'm rededicating myself to doing everything I can do to make this work. Too late. I've moved on. You've moved on? You've made it abundantly clear to me that you're not very interested in being part of the Connor Project. I can make more videos. I can write more stuff for the blog. I can do all that myself. It's not the same! You know it's not the same people want to hear what I had to say. I was his best friend. You know, frankly, Evan, I'm starting to wonder if that's even true. What does that mean? You keep saying you were best friends. You're like a broken freaking record about it. But nobody ever saw you together. Nobody knew that you were friends. It was a secret. He I know the story, Evan. School. We all know the story. We've all heard it a bazillion times. You've seen the emails. Do you know how easy it is to create a fake email account? Backdate emails? Because I do. You know what? I don't have time for this. I have to raise $17,000. I can prove it! How? <clears throat> Here. We weren't friends then. Why did he write a suicide note to me? Oh my god. Do you believe me now? Dear Evan Hansen. Nobody else has seen this. It turns out this wasn't an amazing day after all. This isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year. You can't show this to anyone, okay? Nobody else needs to see it. This is exactly what people need to see. We need something to create new interest. Can you just please delete it now? Don't you care about building the orchard? This is the best way to make Connor's dream come true. No, it isn't. Dear Connor Project community, you put it on my Connor's note is a message to all of us. Share it with as many people as you can. Post it everywhere. You need to take it down, please. You better felt alone by Connor. Then please consider making a donation to the Connor Murphy Memorial. No amount is too small. Have people seen this? Connor Murphy's suicide note. This is the actual authentic one. The whole world needs to see this. Share it with everyone you This want. is why the orchard is so important. I just need $50 for the orchard, and I think everyone else should give as much as they can. Repost. His parents present themselves. He wrote his suicide note to Evan Hansen because he knew his family didn't give a shit. Uh, his parents, by the way, are insanely rich. For shit. Like, spent their money on helping their son. Please retweet. Uh, Evan Hansen was the only one who's paid any to pay for a shit war. Uh, like all my hope is spent on so I was a stuck up bitch. I go to school and trust in shit. Larry Murphy is a corporate lawyer who only cares about 
try calling a lineup and see if I can these are adults. Do you see their pictures? These are adults. Maybe you let it ring, Zoe. Hello? Who is it? Who is it, Zoe? Have fun with your miserable life, bye. What's the number? It's blocked, who cares? What did they say to you? Doesn't matter. Did they threaten you? Doesn't matter, Dad said I'm calling the police. Ah, uh, maybe right now the best thing to do is just wait and see if this blows over. That's always your solution, isn't it? Just do nothing. Is that what I said? Yes. Go ahead and see. Let's wait and see, right, Larry? What are the police going to do? It's the internet. They're going to arrest the internet? I had to beg you every step of the way. Oh, I had to plead with you for therapy, for rehab. And you went marching from one miracle cure. To the next. Oh, miracle if it was only me, it was another twenty thousand dollar weekend yoga ritual. What is your alternative other than picking apart everything that I did? Putting him on a program and sticking to it. No, you wanted to punish him. Listen to your daughter, Larry. You treated him like a criminal. Are you listening? You think you were any better? You let him do whatever he wanted. Thank you. And he threatened to kill himself the first time. Do you remember what you said? For Christ's sake. He just wants attention. I'm not going to sit here and defend myself. He's getting better. I did the best guy I could. I tried to help the only way I know how. And that's not good. He was trying to be. He was trying. And he was failing. We failed him. No, you didn't. You didn't fail him. Look at what he wrote. He didn't write it. I wrote it. You didn't write kind of suicide. No, it did. wasn't any. Um, it was an assignment for my therapist. Write a letter to yourself, a pet talk, dear Evan Hansen. Today is going to be a good day, and here's why. I don't think. I was supposed to bring it to my appointment. Connor took it from me, and I guess that he must have had it with him when you uh, when you found him. What are you talking about? We weren't friends. <clears throat> no. 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 I never meant to make it such a mess. <laughs> I never thought that it would go this far. There were emails. You showed us the emails. So I just stand here, sorry, searching for something to say. Uh, something to say. But you knew about the orchard. He took you to the orchard. That's where you broke your arm. No, I broke my arm and that was in part by myself. No. No, that day at the orchard, you and Connor at the orchard. Words fail, words fail, and there's nothing I can say. But you told me that, that you guys would talk about me. How could you do this? I guess I thought I could be part of this. I never had this kind of thing. I never had that perfect girl who somehow could see the good part of me. I never had the dad who stuck it out. No corny jokes or baseball gloves. No mom who just was there because mom was all that she had to be. But that's not a worthy explanation.
were happy? I guess I couldn't let that go. I guess I couldn't give that up. I guess I wanted to leave. Cause if I just leave, then I don't have to see what's really I'd rather pretend I'm something better than these broken parts Pretend I'm something other than this mess that I am Cause then I don't have to look at it And no one gets to look at it No, no one can really see Cause I learned to stare on the bridge Before I even turn the key Out. 
temporarily, we said. <coughs> Oh. 
He'll just hold on. And he'll keep going. He'll keep going until he sees the sun.